He looks very weak. I mean, he does look very ill. He can continually complains in the interview about, about his health, about problems with his eye, he's blinded in his left eye, that he says that he's had heart palpitations in the last month, that his health is deteriorating. And he, he says, uh, for what it's worth, that you know, he doesn't expect to, you know, he, that his life is almost at an end. And looking at the pictures, that, that doesn't seem unrealistic. Does he also accept that his, his political clout is also finished? Yeah, he says that explicitly. He says that politically, kind of, I'm over. Uh, this, that things have finished. His line is always that he, and to a certain extent, him alone, understood the dangers that Cambodia was facing and that all he's done has been for the, for the Cambodian nation and people. And that's, that's always what he says. And, and to a certain extent, he defines he defines what is in the, in, in the interest of Cambodian nation and people by what he thinks is right. So it's a sort of uh, um, a cycle, um, a circle, a, a circle of logic. And what did he say was, was in their interest? I mean, why? He didn't, he didn't explain in the interview. I mean, he didn't talk about politics. He repeatedly said that he was too weak to do so, that he had said all he had, had to say uh, in the previous interview. So in this, he, he made a few comments and just gave a little, you know, restated the point that Everything he'd done was to prevent the Vietnamese from swallowing Cambodia, but that was that was essentially it. The rest of the interview was about his health, uh, and with uh, he repeatedly said that he was too weak and uh, couldn't speak about politics. 